hello students today we shall see the next point that is dynamic memory allocation dynamic memory management techniques allow us to allocate additional memory or to release the unwanted space but at run time that is when we are executing the program that is when the program is in the execution process thus optimizing the use of storage space the process of allocating memory at run time is known as dynamic memory allocation that is the memory which is allocated when the program is in execution state now in this given diagram the program instruction and global and static variables are stored in a region known as permanent storage area so in ram this the lower part of the memory is known as the permanent storage area and this permanent storage area stores program instructions global and static variables and the local variables are stored in another area called stack in the first part of the memory in the it is in the ram the local variables are stored this part is known as the stack the memory space that is located between these two regions is available for dynamic allocation during execution of the program this free memory region is called the heap the size of the heap keeps on changing when program is executed due to creation and death of variables that are local to functions and blocks so our ram is divided into such type of segments this the global variables program instructions and static variables are stored in permanent storage area and the local variables are stored in the sack stack the remaining part is the free memory which is known as the heap and during dynamic memory allocation memory is allocated from this part of the ram next we'll discuss the first dynamic memory allocation function that is malloc or malloc it is used for allocating a block of memory a block of memory may be allocated using the function malloc the malloc function reserves a block of memory of specified size and returns a pointer of type void this means that we can assign it to any type of pointer syntax is pointer equal to cast type that is any basic data type it may be integer float character long double any fundamental data type asterisk sign close bracket m alloc that is the name of the function and how many bytes you want to allocate and semicolon ptr is a pointer of type cast type this ptr is a pointer variable and it will its data type will be whatever you spe specify over here the m alloc returns a pointer to an area of memory with byte size for example here x x is a pointer variable and it will be pointing to integer type of data so int star malloc 100 times size of integer so this is how we are going to allocate a block of memory when this statement this following statement will get executed on successful execution of this statement a memory space equivalent to 100 times the size of an integer what is the size of an integer each integer requires 2 bytes so 2 into 100 that is 200 bytes will get allocated 
and the address of the first byte will get stored in X. So 200 bytes is reserved and the address of the first byte of the memory is allocated assigned to the pointer X of type integer. Similarly, we will take one more example. CPTR is equal to character asterisk M alloc 10. Now in this case, 10 bytes will be allocated because character requires only one byte. So in this case, the byte size is 10. So 10 bytes will be contiguously allocated and the address of the first byte will be stored in a pointer variable that is CPTR. The M alloc allocates a block of contiguous bytes. The allocation can fail if the space in the heap is not sufficient to satisfy the request. If it fails, it returns a null pointer. So this is how we are going to allocate a block of memory by using the M alloc function. Next we shall see C alloc. C alloc is also a dynamic memory allocation function and it is used for allocating multiple blocks of memory. In the previous function that is M alloc, we can create a single block of memory. But in case of C alloc, this function can be used for allocating multiple blocks of memory. C alloc or calloc allocates multiple blocks of storage each of the same size and then initializes or sets all bytes to zero. So this is one additional point about calloc that when the memory is allocated it will initialize all the bytes to zero. Syntax it is same like malloc only additional part is this n. So pointer variable name equal to cast type. Again this cast type will include all the basic data types. It may be integer, float, double, character, etc. Asterisk sign, name of the function, c alloc or calloc. How many blocks are to be allocated? Because c alloc allocates multiple blocks. So n will indicate how many blocks and each block should be of what size that is the element size okay so this is the syntax of the function calloc the statement allocates contiguous space for n blocks each of size element size all bytes are initialized to 0 and a pointer to the first byte of allocated region is returned if there is not enough space, a null pointer is returned. So, calloc is similar to m alloc. Only thing is here it allocates multiple blocks and all the blocks bytes are initialized to 0. Next, we will see one more fun dynamic memory allocation function that is free. Free function is used for releasing the used space. The memory which we have allocated by using the m alloc or c alloc function, once we have finished using that memory, we have to release it and this we are going to do it with the help of the function free. When we no longer need the data, we stored in a block of memory and we do not intend to use that block for storing any other information we may release that block of memory for future use using the free function. So whatever pointer variable we have initialized by using the m alloc or c alloc function, we are going to use that same pointer variable over here in the free function. So this is the syntax of free function, free and which basic or the address of the first byte pointer variable the name of that pointer variable is specified as an argument to this free function 
with this the pointer is to the memory block which has already been created by malloc or calloc will get released okay so memory allocated with malloc or calloc will be released by using this free function and the last function is realloc realloc is also a dynamic memory allocation function and it is used for altering the size of the block suppose previously if we have allocated a memory by malloc or calloc function and now if we require more memory or less memory that is we have to change the size of the block we are going to use the realloc function we can change the memory size already allocated with the help of the function realloc this process is called the reallocation of memory if the original allocation is done by the statement suppose here we have allocated a memory by using the malloc function and the pointer variable is ptr and if we want to now change this particular number of bytes we are going to use the realloc function then reallocation of space may be done by the statement we are going to use the same pointer variable which we have previously used for malloc or calloc no change in the pointer variable name use the function name realloc the same pointer variable name is given over here common comma and what it will be the new size now this new size can be less than this or more than this okay so this new size that is the number of bytes which we want to allocate this function allocates a new memory space of size new size to the pointer variable ptr and returns a pointer to the first byte of the new memory block this is done similar to malloc and calloc the new size may be larger or smaller than the size the new block may or may not begin at the same place as the old one in case it is not able to find additional space in the same region it will create the same in an entirely new region and move the contents of the old block into the new block if the function is unsuccessful in locating additional space it returns a null pointer and the original block is freed when we allocate the new memory the function guarantees that the old data will remain intact so these are the four dynamic memory allocation functions malloc calloc realloc and free Thank you.